Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our tutorial videos. This is episode three, COT change analysis. So by now we understand what the Commitments of Traders report is, uh, that it is published by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission on a weekly basis. Uh, we understand there are multiple report types and data types to analyze. And now I'd like to shift our attention uh, to the analysis of the report itself. And the first type of analysis that we do is the COT change analysis. So in front of us, we have this table here with the three main trader categories, commercials, large speculators, and small speculators. Of course, we are analyzing the legacy data right now. You can see here in the settings that we have the classic uh, by default. Uh, and in front of you, you can see we have this 26% uh, number in the Japanese yen, which seems to be a bit larger than uh, all the rest here. So we're gonna uh, open the Japanese yen in just a moment, but uh, uh, so you understand we are looking at the 52 weeks look back period in commercials positions. If we open the Japanese yen, uh, I will explain to you in very simple mathematics what that 26% really means. So we have the latest report here, which is 69,796 contracts net long for commercials, uh, but just a a uh, week before they were at 103,550 uh, contracts net long. So the change was exactly 33,754 contracts. Now that in itself does not really uh, mean anything. So that's why we figured out this change signal, which is simply comparing that number to the total range of the commercials positions in the past 52 weeks. Now that's easy to find by simply uh, looking at the largest uh, number, 138,202 contracts net long in case of commercials, and uh, the least was 9,747 contracts. So that's 128,455 contracts range. So you're comparing the 33,754 contract to that range. That's the 52 weeks look back period. Now, uh, I just want to show you that you can also chart these uh, large changes at COT base. And of course, uh, you can see it on the chart over there. Uh, now, these large changes, uh, of course, are always great signals. That's the reason why I opened the Japanese yen. If you follow my weekly reviews, uh, I'm sure you're not surprised that I started off with the COT change analysis because that's something that we uh, analyze uh, every week. And you can see that these larger changes are actually great signals. Uh, you can see some examples for bullish COT chain signals in the market. Uh, we do have bearish COT chain signals as well. Actually, the latest COT report resulted in a bearish COT chain signal. Now, by default, we have the 52 weeks in the table, but you can also add the all time. Uh, to the table, you can actually look at multiple report changes. So let's try that out and see a two report change uh, compared to a 52 weeks range. And of course, uh, it's, it's quite simple. The mathematics behind this is the exact same, but in this case, we're not looking at only one, but two reports. So we take the 69,796 uh, and jump over two reports uh, and uh, we get to the 108,609. Um, uh, contracts net long level and compare that to the 52 weeks time range. If you would like, you can of course set a uh, specific look back period, uh, not necessarily the all time or the 52 weeks. You can choose whichever fits uh, your needs. So that was the COT change analysis. In the next episode, I will be talking about COT extreme analysis. Thank you very much for your attention. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.